Today I would like to discuss with you a new robot, we call it the Frankenstein and it's a very interesting robot because the motors are placed in an opposite direction. Now let's see what we can do with this robot. The robot is constructed from the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 set and it has two large motors one on the front and one on the back. If we consider this to be the front of the robot, we have two large motors, we have two sensors, two color sensors and two medium motors. What's interesting first is that we have a medium motor at the front of the robot here and we have a medium motor at the back of the robot. So we can add different attachments both to the front and to the left. And as you can see, as you can see this robot seems to be um, Let's call it, it's a thin robot, so it's not taking up so, so much space compared to other robots that uh, that you can build with the Lego Maestrom set. And the reason for this is that the two motors, that are the large motors, are not placed next to each other, but they are placed in an opposite direction. And this means that for the robot to move forward with both tires, one of the motors should move forward and the other should move backward and that's a very interesting challenge for you to turn your head around and to think about how do we program this robot to move forward backward and to turn for example left and right the third thing about this robot is that again the axles right here the axles on which the tires are connected the wheels are connected, uh, they they touch the robot on two places, they are, they are connected on two places, first here on this frame and second on the motor, so the axles are quite stable. I will now try, try to program this robot to see how it works, let's first make the robot move forward, this will be interesting. Let's place a new block, that's the move steering block and uh, with this block it's connected it's uh, controlling port b and c and these are the two ports where our motors are connected so if we start for let's say three rotations with the power of 50 and we'll try to to download and to see what happens with our robot In this case the robot rotates because both motors are moving forward and the robot rotates and it turns right. So when the motors are moving forward our robot turns right. So we can assume that if we move the motors back it will turn left and we need to move one of the motors forward the other backward in order for the robot to move forward. Let's check this. The, um, the block, the move steering block, it has an option for steering and it's currently zero. This means that both motors work in sync and they both uh, move forward. Now if I change this value to minus 100, this will mean that one of the motors will move forward, the other backward. And from this, our whole robot will move forward. Download and run. As I start the program now, because one of the motors is moving forward and the other backward, I start and the whole robot moves forward. I can change the, the steering to plus 100 and then the robot will move backward. Now it's a nice way to think about the robot that it doesn't have to always be with the two motors moving in the same direction. The construction might be different and in this case it is different and it's a really nice way to work with students in the field of, of STEM and to, to get them to think about this and to, to experiment with this robot and to try to move the robot forward and backward and to different turns. In the next video we will try to do a more complete program that will make this robot move in a square.